Moses. This is Holmes Lord. Have a seat. What's up, my guys? I'm going to be showing you how to get the radius of any bender, hand bender, whether it be a Chicago bender or a hydraulic bender. I'm going to be showing you how to get the actual radius of that bender. What you want to do is you want to start out by actually making an actual 90, as perfect and level as you can. Once you're done making that 90, what I would like for you to do is mark where it starts to bend. How you can do this is lay it on a flat surface and see where it actually starts to rise. You can mark that side, start or bend, same thing on the leg side. You want to make that mark as well, same way you did with the stub side. Now, the reason why I have this other mark here at the top, that's for the front of hook. When you start to make the 90 degree bend, what I want you to do is make a mark on the front of the hook where the bender goes onto. The front of the hook would be this right here. I want you to mark where this is actually at on the pipe. Reason being is, with the bends that we're going to be doing, we're going to be using the front of the hook. I want you to get the measurement from the front of the hook to actually where it starts to bend. Store that measurement and I will show you why you need that later on. I'm going to try to get you a part of a few series on how to do some intermediate bends. Also, how to use and get the center of any bend that you want to make. Now, after you're done marking your 90, what I need you to do is actually measure the cord. The cord is this measurement from A to B. When you measure it, make sure you measure from the center of the pipe and not from the back, not from the inside, from the center of the pipe. When you get your measurement, what I want you to do is you're going to use this formula that I'm going to give you. And that is going to give you the radius of your bender, whether it be a hand bender, hydraulic, it all works the same. The formula is going to be sine of 45 times the cord, which was the measurement that you just measured from A to point B. Now, don't get discouraged. If you don't want to do it, you don't know anything about trigonometry, you could just use 0 0.707 times the cord. It's the same thing as the sine of 45 degrees. It's a little diagram here I'm showing you exactly what it is that you're doing. Now, now why is it useful to get the radius of your bender? I'm going to be showing you a few videos on doing some intermediate bends. For these bends, you're going to need the radius of the bend that you're going to be using to make these bends. Most benders nowadays have them, but they actually get the radius a different way. The way that I'm showing you is the way that you need to know in order to make the bends that I'm going to teach you.